Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this Logic Pro quick tip video, I'm gonna show you how to load up instrument presets without preset sends, buses, and aux track routing. So first, let me demonstrate what I'm talking about, but you've probably all experienced this before. So I'm gonna load up a new software instrument, and I'm going to use an empty channel strip, and this will just give me a blank software instrument with no preset routing, no preset instrument, or anything like that. Now, if I press Y to open up my instrument library, and I choose an instrument preset, so maybe I'll go down to Vintage Electric Piano and load up this Bright Suitcase preset. What you'll see is that this not only creates a software instrument track with an instrument and audio effects, it also creates some sends here for some time-based effects. So on bus two, there's a small room, and on bus three, there's a small hall. Now, sometimes this is kind of cool to have some of the effects preloaded, but in my opinion, these get rather annoying because I almost never use the built-in time-based effects for presets. I almost always load my own, and they're especially annoying if you're loading up multiple instrument presets from the library, and you end up with all these unnecessary aux tracks and wasted bus routings. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of this and start from scratch here. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a new software instrument again, and this time I'm gonna load up that exact same preset, but what I'm gonna do is click right here and select Enable Patch Merging. Then what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that this option for sends is turned off. It'll most likely be turned on by default. And the other important thing here is that you have to make sure that this is pulled up. If you close this out, it will not work. So you have to pull up Enable Patch Merging and turn off Sends. Now what I can do is go to my electric pianos again, and then I'll select the Bright Suitcase preset again. And now what you'll see is it just loads up that instrument without the sends. Now a little visual glitch I've noticed here is that it does load up the audio effects, but over here in the inspector, it's showing them, but in the mixer it doesn't. So what I do here if this happens is I just click on single and then go back to tracks, and that just sort of refreshes the mixer. But what you can see is that there's no sends here. So this saves me a few steps because I no longer have to delete those aux tracks and I don't have to remove the bus routing from the sends. And any presets I load up from the library will no longer include the sends. Now, if I do want the sends again, all I need to do is just close out this menu. I'll create a new software instrument, and I'll just go back to the library, go to Vintage Electric Piano, and then load up one of these electric piano presets. And now my aux tracks and bus and send routing is back. So that's how you can load up instrument presets from the library without preset sends, buses, and aux track routing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thanks for the support and thanks for watching.